as we finish, I just say a couple things as takeaways. Number one, and this is from Psalms 37, verse 4. In this verse, it says, God gives us the desires of our heart. Let us desire God's presence. And I would encourage you that you ask God, give me, the des- give me a greater desire for your presence. I don't know about you, there are times in my life when I've really been passionate for God's presence and times when I've been kind of, eh, you know, that's groovy, take it or leave it. Anybody relate to that? Yeah, kind of ebb and flow. You're like, yes, whatever. But let's make this a prayer in our hearts. God, help me to desire your presence and help me to have that as my top priority is your presence. A second takeaway from this chapter, I would say, is that every generation makes their own decisions for worshiping God. They do. You may not like what they do. You may like what they do. But ultimately, the main thing is that we love well. If they're not worshiping God, pursuing God, whatever, that's ultimately they're God's child, God's son. And our job is merely to love them and let God guide and direct. Let God organize. Every generation makes their own decision. Whether you like it or you don't. My generation, your generation, millennials. How do you count millennials? By the number of Instagrams. Just had to throw that in to kind of bring us back to (laughs) these horrible jokes. And then the third thing, third takeaway I would say is allow our hearts to be God's home. This Ephesians 3.16, that God dwells in us. And so as we finish this message, I just want to pray for all of us in the room, all of us online, that we would have a greater passion and a desire for God's presence. How many of you agree with me on that? I want God's presence. I want God's presence as my top priority. Then let's just put our hands on our hearts that our hearts would be God's home. We would be passionate for God's presence. I ask you, Father, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your compassion, your consistency and faithfulness to us. I ask you, it says that ask for the desires of our hearts. So give us the desire for your presence, more hungry for your presence. God, help us to be hungry for your presence, not only in church, but in our daily living, as we're driving, as we're studying for classes, as we're doing work, as we're cleaning the kitchen, as we're doing laundry, just in our daily living, help us to be hungry for you, waiting for you with love and passion and hunger for you. We desire you, waiting here for you because you're waiting with and for us. We love you, Father, help us to be hungry and passionate for you, increasingly so, in Jesus' name.